thank you for, for coming out. I think um, uh, I'm impressed by the turnout here today. It's important that all of us, uh, regardless of, of how we interpreted the process leading into the passage of the legislation, uh, do all we can to inform ourselves and our plan members as we uh, approach what's going to be a very important time for the country and a very transitional period uh, in this country for healthcare delivery. Um, as it was explained, I am the Director of Outreach and Consumer Education for the Illinois Health Insurance Marketplace. It is my job to ensure that every resident of Illinois understands what the marketplace does, educates them on what it means to be insured, and ensures that every single resident of Illinois gets enrolled either in private marketplace insurance or participates in expansion of Medicaid and Medicaid. No small feat. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about what the marketplace is, um, talk about what we're going to be doing in Illinois over the next couple months, and some of the things that you and your family can expect. So Brenda did a, a marvelous job of, of describing all of the, um, the benefits that are coming and have been implemented already with the ACA. But as we all know, 2014 uh, is where the real significant elements of the ACA, the Affordable Care Act, are implemented. The idea that we are going to con con increase the access and affordability on the individual and small business level for all residents throughout the country, but specifically here in Illinois. And, and there's one context that I want everybody to, to, to really understand as we're approaching all of our efforts as we're going forward. Everybody in this room has a personal vested interest in seeing everybody covered by insurance. All of us benefit when all of us are covered. When we have gaps 35, 40 million Americans who are existing, who are working, who don't have access to affordable health care, who are not engaged in the health care delivery system, but are engaged in sick care, that has a negative impact for all of us and those of us who are fortunate enough to have access to excellent health care system. So the, one of the, the fundamental pillars is the, is the insurance that all of us benefit when everybody has coverage. And what happens is we have a healthier society and then it bends that cost curve down for all of us. So we've seen over the last 20 years this spike in, in premium rates for those that have coverage. Um, and what we're now seeing is that cost begin to level off and, and, and when everybody gets covered, we'll see that lower and stabilize. So individuals and families can make long-term strategic decisions about what's best for them. And removing all that uncertainty, knowing that I know that I have coverage, and I'll never go bankrupt for getting sick. So that's the context in, in which we want to think about how we're going to be implementing this uh, marketplace here in Illinois. So we want this to succeed. All of us, it's, a, it's an actual fact that all of us are going to benefit when everybody across Illinois um, is covered. So um, Illinois is a, in a partnership Relationships. We talked about some states have chosen not to stand up their own private marketplaces for their states. Uh, Illinois has chosen, at least in the first year, to enter into a partnership relationship with the federal government. Meaning that the federal government is going to be hosting the website where all of us can shop for and compare uh, plans and packages and prices uh, to meet whatever plan is best for uh, us and our family. But Illinois is in control of the plan management. We are right now currently reviewing nearly 165 submitted plans from health insurance carriers across the state uh, from six different groups of 165 plans for six different groups. Uh, we'll make recommendations on which of those plans actually meet the standards which we want to go. Uh, Illinois is, is responsible for the consumer assistance and so making sure that everybody understands what it means to enroll and answers their questions. And Illinois is also responsible for the outreach and consumer education to so ensure that everybody understands what is coming down the road for them. Um, so we obviously, you know, Brenda kind of gave my heart a little bit of, of, of pitter-pat when she talks about weeks away. Um, it's not quite a few weeks away, I, I, but we are very close. Um, enrollment begins for plans starting in January 2014. Open enrollment begins in October 1. So uh, we don't have a lot of time to, 
do the work that we need to get done. Um, but the, the, the honest assessment of where we are now as an Illinois is on time. I know that for a lot of people, they, they, they may think that I'm uh, full of it, but I can honestly say that we don't have a lot of spare time to do, but we, we are meeting our deadlines and our goals to make sure that we're up and running starting October 1. So when we talk about enrolling in just the private marketplace alone in Illinois, we're anticipating about 486,000 people are going to be enrolling just in these private health insurance plans that we're going to be posted just in year one on the marketplace. Uh, we haven't done any statewide specific market research, but what we found across the country is that roughly 80% of the people that are going to be purchasing these plans in the next uh, 10 months have no idea that we are here. They have no idea that we are uh, coming down the road. And this is not just some sort of, you know, they're confused about the nuances of the essential health benefits, or they're unsure about, uh, you know, how to get the application filled out. This is, I had no idea that we are coming. So it's an enormous challenge for all of us to make sure that everybody understands what this is. Um, and the answers as to why this level of understanding is so low uh, can be immediately extrapolated by understanding who the uninsured are. So generally these are people who have had no experience at any point in their life of engaging with the healthcare delivery system. They've never actually had healthcare uh, provided by their employers or they've gone bankrupt at a period of time, or they speak English as a second language, or there are low literacy levels. So, you know, there are enormous inherent built-in challenges in reaching these populations, but we have a plan um, over the next five months to educate, and then during that six-month enrollment period, making sure that we're getting to our goals. So all of us who are currently happy with the plans that we have can see the security and the stability in what we have going on. So how do you plan? How do we get roughly 486,000 people, when 400,000 of those, roughly, have no idea that we're doing it. So starting uh, in the middle of July, uh, we're going to be rebranding our entire uh, marketplace. Some states have, have already gotten uh, well ahead of the states like Oregon, California, Maryland, um, who have state-based plans, um, have already branded their marketplaces cover California, uh, the Silver State Connector. Um, we have solicited professional services, trust me, um, I'm pretty good in campaigns, but I'm not smart enough to, to rebrand this on our own. Um, we have since sought uh, professional services to, to rebrand and launch this marketplace, something Illinois specific so people understand. And that will be backed by significant television, radio, CTA banners, digital strategies, uh, you know, utilizing how young people, people that are that are widely uninsured, you know, connecting them with their cell phones. So identifying and connecting with those individuals who don't know, but making sure when enrollment begins in October 1, that they understand what the Illinois Health Insurance Marketplace is and what it means for them. But, as we, as we can probably assume, that just having people to be aware is not enough. You actually have to get the uninsured, who have very little tradition involved in engagement in the insurance programs, to actually take action. Like, this is not uh, something that they're getting for free. They have to go out and purchase a private health care plan on the individual market. Now, there's subsidies, federal subsidies in terms of uh, tax credits and cost-sharing savings that, be, depending on your eligibility, you can receive, but this is something that they have to purchase. So, a, a family of four who makes $94,000 a year will be eligible for a